Good afternoon, Ospreys. I'm Rashna Mergar, and on today's Nest News update, I'll be covering the following stories. President Joe Biden's new immigration policy. We'll discuss these stories and more, including your sports and weather. Now for your weather update provided by the National Weather Service. Today was partly sunny with a high near 87. There was a 40% chance of showers mainly before 11 a.m. The wind from the east was 11 to 16 miles per hour, increasing 17 to 22 miles per hour in the afternoon with gusts as high as 29 miles per hour. Tonight will be partly cloudy with the low around 76. There's a 30% chance of showers, mainly before 10 a.m. The wind from the east will be 13 to 20 miles per hour, with gusts as high as 26 miles per hour. President Joe Biden announced today his new immigration policy that will permit certain spouses of USA citizens without legal status to apply for permanent residency and citizenship. To qualify, immigrants must have 10 years of US residency and be married to the U.S. citizen as of Monday. Officials stated that immigrants who reach the 10-year mark after Monday will not qualify the, for the program. According to senior administrator, an estimated 50,000 undocumented children under 21 with a parent who is married to the U.S. citizen could qualify under the plan. Biden's announcement follows a crackdown at the U.S.-Mexican border halting asylum claims for those arriving between designated ports of entry. Officials anticipate that the application process will open by the end of the summer, and fees are undetermined. We've got quite a few sports updates today, so let's get into it. UNF basketball head coach John McCarty wants his team to achieve more consistent success and improvements in 2025. The team had a difficult season, finishing 21 or 30, and also the team struggled offensively, ranking last in the Atlantic Sun Conference, and were unable to qualify for any postseason play after losing seven of their final eight weekend series. Arcade says he claims to improve by implementing techniques such as defense, steal, punt, and hit and run plays. UNF men's basketball coach Matthew Driscoll announced last Wednesday that Impact Christian Academy High School graduate Taylor Thompson will join the team. On Friday, UNF women's swimming coach Ian Coffey announced that Paige Sherlock will join the team. Coffey says she is versatile and will add to the Butterfly and IM groups for the upcoming events. UNF seniors Aiden O. Gorman qualified for the U.S. Track Field Olympic trial on the 10,000 meters race Wednesday, June 12th. The Florida native holds the race at 28 minutes, 59 point and 90 seconds at the 2023 relay, relays. He approved his personal time by 45 seconds with a time of 28 minutes and 14 point 34 seconds at the Portland Track Festival. The 10,000 meters finally race for the 2024 U.S. Track and Field Olympic trials take place on the first day of the competition on Friday, June 21st. That's all I have for you today. Remember to consider donating to support college media at UNF through the link in the description below. For all things Spinnaker, check out our website at unfspinnaker.com. Also, to make sure to follow us on our Instagram at UNF Spinnaker and check out the rest of our YouTube for more content. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Rashna Omraga, and I'll see you next time on Spinnaker's Nest News Updates.
Nice to be in orbit.